Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be testing out some viral TikTok photography hacks because I always see them and I wonder if they work. And so maybe this will give you some fun ideas for your photos. In this first photo, we see a man and he is on a curb and he puts the phone down on the road while he stands on the curb and then just puts one foot kind of over the camera, kind of like when you're shooting with a really wide lens and you reach out towards the camera or put kick up your foot towards the camera. So we're gonna try to do that selfie style with the phone. I think this is gonna work. We're starting with this because we wanna start strong. Okay, some of the other ones we're gonna be actually using my A7C to shoot with. People shoot with their phones today. A lot of you guys watching, you may have a professional camera or you may have a phone in which case there are options for you regardless. Okay, let's try right here. Now we're gonna set the timer. Let's do 10 seconds. Are we ready? hard to shoot from underneath you. I'm struggling. This guy, I think, did a better job than me, but. <laughs> and I'm still getting over a cold. We're gonna put some saran wrap on this lens and then try a hack that I have actually wanted to try for a very long time. I had on my list to make this a whole video once and then someone did it before me and then I couldn't. So I'm really happy that we get to incorporate it into this video because I've always wanted to try it. The hack is putting Vaseline or in our case, some Eucerin Aquaphor on the lens and it makes this very dreamy effect, but I don't really want to put that actually on the lens. So we're putting saran wrap on it first, very tightly. What you need, saran wrap, very tight hair elastic. <coughs> a girl with still a bit of a cough. That looks good. Pull it till it's tight. So I think I'm supposed to leave space in the middle. <laughs> it's unclear if I'm supposed to like do it in a complete circle or whether I'm supposed to like swish it around so it makes like different. Let's try making some little marks and stuff so it's not like smooth. That looks awesome. What is my job? Doesn't seem to make a difference if you make the little texture in it or not, but definitely making like a circle around the edges definitely blurs it and creates a really cool effect. So overall, I could totally see myself using this and probably with video too, it would look really cool. Anything you're trying to draw the focus of your image to, anything you maybe don't want to add a silhouette to, you want it to have a lighter feel, then this could be a really cool technique. On to the next one. This is another hack I've seen before that I've always really wanted to try, putting a nylon around the lens instead. So we actually bought these little sockets from Dollarama. I think they were like $2 and it comes with a few. So these are a bit of a better size. You don't have a lot of fabric just hanging off of it. And you're supposed to pull it quite tight. The effect this is supposed to have is create like a bit of a sepia tone to your images and make them look really like vintage. So really we're just having a fun day testing out different creative ways to take some cool photos. Ooh, oh, it's very dreamy. Luna. You want to be in the video?
of taking inspiration from other creators and making it into our own piece of art, I just want to take a moment to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Storyblocks and their Edit My Video Challenge with Daniel Schiffer. Now, Daniel is a good friend of mine and I literally use Storyblocks in most of my videos, so doing this integration was a no-brainer for me. Storyblocks and Daniel have teamed up to organize a challenge for you guys. So your task is to edit the footage from the collection that Daniel has created exclusively for Storyblocks and make your own edit that's up to 30 seconds long. Now for inspiration, here is a little sequence I put together from the clips that Daniel provided. Now there are a ton of awesome prizes, including an Insta360 Go 2 camera, a DJI Pocket 2 exclusive combo, and an Aperture MC4 light kit, and much more. There isn't a lot of time, okay? You have to submit your entry by May 1st, and Daniel is going to be selecting a winner by May 9th. Visit this link that's in the description box below so you can get more information on the contest. If you guys, for some reason, haven't heard of Storyblocks, I don't know what rock you are living under, but here's a little rundown for you. Storyblocks is a complete library of 4K and HD stock footage, music, sound effects, stock photos, After Effects templates, and much more. I use Storyblocks literally all the time for my videos because it's such an easy all-in-one database of actually useful assets. If I want to showcase the feeling of a wintry tundra, but I can't fly to the Arctic, then luckily Storyblocks has my back. If I have some footage of a downtown street, but the sound sucked, then Storyblocks sound effects also has my back. Again, you only have till May 1st to enter the contest with Daniel Schiffer, so make sure you do that ASAP. Now let's get back to the video. For this particular photo hack, we are using the light from my cell phone, like that, and we're gonna get a toilet paper tube, we're gonna tape it to that and make like a spotlight, and then we're gonna take pictures with this camera on top, and it's gonna look cool. Let's go find a toilet paper tube. taking some product photos. It's oh, it's a well-rounded day. So we've got the 90 mil macro on. We're just putting it on the Peak Design tripod here. We're gonna get noise and toy. What's bothering me is that the mirror, the white rim around the mirror shows. Like I wish it was black. Welcome to our bathroom. This is on the office floor. Isn't it so cute? Look at this mirror. I picked it up myself. No, I didn't. I actually hate that mirror. Anyways, here we are with some Windex. Most people in this example just used water and flicked it on the mirror, but I don't want streaks on my mirror after, so we're gonna use Windex. So basically what everyone does, like that. Then what we're gonna do is position our camera like that. We're gonna drag, oh shit, drag the exposure all the way down. Flash is on. We're gonna turn the lights off. That looks really scary. <laughs> you Can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> What's this supposed to look like? Oh, that's the one. Yeah. Here. It looks like I'm in a car wash. Yeah. Like it's a cool effect. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank 
thanks everyone for coming to watch today's video. I, 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 I really hope you learned something new. And if it wasn't this last photo, that's okay. I hope you maybe found one hack that was kind of cool. If you like this video, please give it a like down below, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!